Give me some money. I don't have any. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Where's the money? Well, you've accomplished something today, then. Don't say anything, Jay. I promise. You know better than to talk to them about us. She's not normally like this, are you, darling? Well, I didn't say anything. Maybe she's feeling unwell. I didn't say anything, did I? Then why are the curtains open? I don't know. Close them, then. Today we've got a series of three um, short plays um, by actors depicting scenarios of uh, uh, abusive situations in the home life. One of them is of an elderly couple, one is of a young wife that's come home, uh, has had a haircut, and the other one is a, a young daughter, and the relationship that she has with her mum is quite domineering. These are scenarios that I deal with every day of my working life. Do you see what I see is actually really an interesting statement. This is powerful because it brings alive and puts context around domestic abuse. People are stopping, they're intrigued, they're, they want to know more, and they are very surprised to find that it's this kind of subject that is being brought into a shopping centre. I mean, I didn't know there was any agenda to it at all, it was just a play to watch, and then afterwards there's a, the disclaimer about, you know, if you've been affected by it, and I think, oh yeah, it's really good. I think it's a very interesting concept, it's very interesting looking from the outside in and getting a, a feel that you are actually watching something that could be happening. This this really made me realise that we all have a stereotype of an abusive relationship. It's made me think about the older generation, that perhaps not everyone retires and has a great time. The curtains open and, it, and you're looking into somebody else's life from that perspective. It's looking at perpetrators in a three-dimensional way. It's not necessarily looking at them as uh, the villain of the story, and actually there is some complexities to them. What I also thought came out was how if abusers is the right term, how they were suffering, how they needed help, and they obviously had their own issues as well. The point is, you need to ask, you need to come forward, we are there to help you. Often the responses aren't what you fear, often our first response is how can we help you. And if you recognise that behaviour in yourself or you're, you're a victim of that behaviour, then there's people out there that can help you, so please get in contact.